Hello. Out for a walk this morning. This is Jeremy Poole. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm. Uh, I thought while I'm out here, I do a bit of a video. It's a lovely day. The sun is up. I'm in the the um, shady side of the mountain at the moment. When I get up over the top, if I make it, I'll uh, I'll show you the view. Well, what am I going to talk about today? Well, fear. I'm pretty sure that pumping fear lowers our, lowers our immune system. <gasps> Fake news, no proof. Nah, you're gonna scared. Actually lowers our immune system. I'm pretty sure that's a fact. You can fact check me if you want, but then again, every fact check I've checked of the BBC has been cherry picking facts and not giving the whole facts. One of the stories I saw on fake stream media uh, yesterday, last night, was there's not enough coffins, there's not enough beds. So a company, I think it's in India or somewhere in America, I'm not sure where, has made cardboard coffins. Sorry, sorry, cardboard beds for hospitals that can be turned into coffins now if anything could scare a person in hospital with a disease more than that and put them in their graves I don't know what could if you want to push up the death rate if that's what the site like what you're trying to do is push up the death rate you put on you let somebody sleep in their coffin and say you are you sleep in your coffin if you die, it's easier for us. You wouldn't close your bloody eyes. Jesus Christ, you'd have matchsticks in your eyes keeping them open. What the hell are these people thinking of? But this is what it's about. It's not about protecting people. It's not about helping people. It's about fear porn. It's about the prostitutes getting themselves a good story. It's about the hacktivists proving Donald Trump wrong with a fact check a bullshit fact check I might add take it yesterday now oh, Twitter has put a fact checking thing underneath one of his latest tweet, tweets what was that tweet? it was the censorship the censorship sorry it was the um, postal votes and him suggesting it's the easiest way to have fraud well a five minute check finds that that's actually true if you, as the uh, authority in the area, know that somebody hasn't voted in a house for, I don't know how long, two years, and you know there's uh, 5,000 of these people who've moved on and don't live in these houses anymore, you send out the postal votes for these houses, and then you send an official to pick them up, and you fill them in yourselves. Boom, ping pong. As they say over here, ping pong for you. It's done. So easy so easy but of course Trump said it so it's wrong another thing it's the end now we're coming to the end of the um, Covid season it is a Covid season because it's like all other coronaviruses it comes in a season and it's go by summer as Trump said whoa fact check that and he was right but the mainstream media need the fear porn they need to push this fear so they can't have us believing that it is a seasonal thing so they have to push it push it push it and the craziest story I saw this morning this is one of the reasons I, I wanted to do this video is Korea Korea's not death rate infection rate has spiked South Korea that is it has spiked again but but a real sharp spike they've had 40 new cases 40 it's a joke there's 40 people living in that block of flats there 40 new cases 
Korea has got 50 odd million people, South Korea has got 50 odd million people, the same as as Britain almost, well Britain got 60 million, but not far off the same kind of size. 40 new cases and they're pushing it as fear. Not any more deaths, 40 new cases. I think Korea, I read 250 odd ki of deaths and they didn't have a lockdown. 250 deaths in Korea with no lockdown. 250 something deaths out of 50 million people. In Korea, every day, a thousand people die. About a thousand people. Well, if it's not, say, 500, but I think it's more like a thousand working on statistics. But not of uh, COVID, of natural causes. And over a three month period, under 300 have died of COVID. Bloody crazy. And they want to close the world down. Start thinking for yourselves. Start asking questions. Why are they pushing this fear? I have a different uh, BBC news to you. I have more the international one. They talk about this spike. This massive spike. No, they said a sharp spike. Bloody sharp spike. So sharp, 40 people tested positive in the whole of Korea. A sharp, sharp spike. Trump censored. And then, but my favourite story from yesterday is coffins. Going to sleep on a coffin. Cheap and easy, wrap you up, throw you out. This is what mainstream media are about. If you go to the hospital and they put you on a bed made of cardboard that turns into a coffin, can you imagine how you'd feel? Can you imagine the fear put into the family? They say, yeah, well, we decided it's not worth having normal beds. These ones are cheap and we can turn them straight into coffins when your relative dies. Go after yourselves. Any single person that agrees with this is part of the problem. Because the problem is not COVID-19. The problem is fear. And fear itself is what is now driving up these deaths, which, well, if they are being driven up. Every time I look at the curve, it's flat. There was another story I saw, and that was a great one. Perhaps I'll, uh, I'll put it on this afternoon as a, a very short video on my channel. It was the CNN reporter standing in the middle of a boulevard with lots of people coming towards him without masks. Him all masked up because obviously he's a good guy. He's not one of these nasty hundreds and hundreds of people behind him out walking in the sun with their families, doing the right thing, not driving fear into their families. No, but what did he do? He had his mask on and condescended to him. Look at them, spreading the virus, spreading the virus, not caring about other people. And he went to ask a guy why he didn't have a mask on. And the guy was filming him. And the guy turned around and said, you a cameraman hasn't got a mask on either. And then somebody else said, and half of your camera crew hasn't either. So the fact is, they don't believe it. They just spread it to spread fear. And it's working. Because when I go in the town around here, there are so many people in fear. Fear of going out, going out and boosting their immune system, staying inside and cutting their immune system. So then they become more likely to catch any kind of virus. Living in fear, lowering your immune system to so catch any kind of virus. That's what it's all about. And the other thing that strikes me is whatever Trump says is fact-checked as wrong. This virus will be gone by summer. BBC fact-checked by somebody called Rachel Shire. Wrong! The virus, there's no evidence it'll be gone by summer. Plenty of evidence that coronavirus is disappearing in summer. That hypoquin or whatever they call it will help. No evidence of that. Plenty of evidence. Just got to look. But of course, because Trump said it now, the mainstream media would rather have people dying 
through not using something that might help them than think Trump might be right. Imagine what kind of self-centred idiots they are. How these prostitutes would sell their own grandmothers for a paycheck rather than do the right thing. While all the time virtue signalling from their ivory towers how great they are, wearing their masks, pretending, pretending. Was it outside Dominic Cummings? The scrum of press all together, all telling us that we have to be locked down, all telling us we have to wear masks. Whilst none of them had masks on and they're all in a scrum. Great. Now, I don't think Dominic Cummings should have stayed at home, but I think he should have stayed at home if the government stops everybody else going out. It has to be the same rule for everybody. I think he did the right thing going with his family, but he did the wrong thing because we are being stopped doing the same thing. The government, the police, the media have to hold their selves especially the media, hold yourselves to a higher standard. Not hold everybody else to the high standard and hold us to the lower standard. Hold yourself, hold us to a higher standard and hold yourselves to a lower standard. No. If this uh, virus is as deadly as you say, you social distance, you wear the masks. Let us decide for ourselves. Do not treat us like children. We are honest, good, intelligent people. We don't want to be treated like children. We will make our own decisions. We can think for ourselves. We can live life with a virus. As I've said in a few videos, I think it's quite clear to anybody who just takes five minutes looking at coronaviruses that this virus will be back in December, January. And in my own personal life, in a very close family, I now know of two people who've been refused urgent medical care because of coronavirus. But I know no one who's got, who's died or become ill with coronavirus in my own personal family. So you can extrapolate that for you what you want, but I think perhaps the, um, the solution that we've been given is far worse than the virus itself. Lovely view this morning. Not a single um, plane in the sky. Pyrenees still got a bit of snow in the background. Belmont, oh, ah, look, there is, as I said, that is one plane in the sky just coming across now. Looks like it's heading towards Madrid or that direction. What a lovely day, anyway. If you go this far, have a good day, like, share and subscribe. If there's anything you want me to bring up, please leave it in the comments below and subscribe. Have a great, great day. Enjoy the sun. It'll help you with your defences, with everything. You'll be good. Bye.